الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله continue on in our studies of the book Aqidat al-Raziyain we read the portion of the treaties where Imam Ibn Abi Hatim Rahmatullah alayhi said and the best one of this nation after its prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam is Abu Bakr al-Siddiq then Umar ibn al-Khattab then Uthman ibn Affan then Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhum and they are the rightly guided orthodox khalifs or uh, caliphs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa sabiqoon al-awwaloon min al-muhajireen wa al-ansar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een throughout the Quran and he mentions subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is pleased with them and that they were pleased with him subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said idha dhukira ashabi fa'amsuku if my companions are mentioned then keep silent meaning if someone is speaking ill about the companions of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in then keep silent or make inkar of that sitting because it's a sitting of innovation and it's a sitting of the heretics if they are speaking about Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anu majma'een then uh, Ibn Abi Hatim or he, he also mentioned and they are the rightly guided uh, orthodox khalifat or caliphs and in the authentic hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said asami wa ta'a Oh, Isma will take when Abdin Habashian from in Yaish for me for me Yaish min kum baadi for Sayyarah to laugh in Kathira if I can be Sunnati was Sunnata Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said listen and obey the Muslim authority even if he was an Ethiopian slave and that those who lived after him would see many differences. So the prescription for those differences, the Prophet ﷺ said, كثيرة, So he said, it is upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided Khalifat, Khalifat, or Caliphs. And we're talking about those companions we just mentioned. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And then Imam ibn Abi Hatim, he mentioned, he said, and, then, and that the ten whom Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned by name, and for whom he bore witness that they will be in paradise, are just as Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam bore witness to and his saying is the truth so these are the Mubashirin the Ashra Mubashirin Fil Jannah and to supplicate for mercy upon all of the companions of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and upon his true followers and to withhold from whatever occurred between them so the fitna that went between the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een when they fought and blood was shed between them radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een Ahl sunnah is united as consensus and not to delve into those matters and that the Ahl sunnah believes that those are were matters of ijtihadat and one party from amongst them you see was, was correct and received two rewards and the other party was mistaken and they receive one reward but that we don't speak ill of the Sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and speak and delve into mistakes that they may have fallen into radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een and then Ibn Abi Hatami said and that Allah is upon his throne separate from his creation just as he described himself in his book 
and upon the tongue of his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam without describing how he encompassed everything with knowledge this is allah azza wa jalla your lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem laysa kamithlihi shay wa huwa as-sami'u basir and in another ayat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says or in the ayah that we mentioned allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is which means there is nothing like unto him and he is the all hearing the all seeing this lets us know habita fi allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that habita fi allah that allah azza wa jal is all seeing and all hearing these are the divine attributes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that ahlus sunnati wal jamaa is united upon describing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by how he described himself ahlus sunna wasaf allah tabarak wasaf allah tabarak wa ta'ala kama wasafa bihi nafsuhu wa kama wasafa bihi rasulihi rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so ahlus sunna we Ahl Sunnah is united, Qadim and Wahadith, the Salaf of this Ummah, that they describe Allah the Almighty and Majestic by how He described Himself in the Quran, and how the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam described Him in the authentic Sunnah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, for example, Allah subhanahu wa taala says about Himself, Tabarak wa Taala, Al Rahman ala Ars Istawa. The most merciful rose above his throne. Ahl Sunnah doesn't ask how, but they say, and they don't negate, and they don't misconstrue the meaning, but rather they accept that Allah subhanahu wa taala is is has the meaning that it has in the Arabic language, and mostly the meaning consists of irtifa, of rising and ala, and going from uh, going going upward. So we we say that Allah subhanahu wa taala rose. above his throne in a manner that suits his majesty we don't describe how we don't ask how and we don't go into those matters beyond what has been described for us in the authentic sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in accordance with the salaf of this ummah how they understood this important principle but ahl sunnah differs with ah, uh, differs with ahl bid'ah with regards to this ahl bid'ah of course they either attempt to describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or they negate those divine sifat or they make ta'wil they distort the meaning to mean other than what it means and what is understood in the arabic language so we see from this the ahlus sunnah and that we should love and ally ourselves with those who love and ally themselves with the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and that we disassociate ourselves with those who dis- disassociate themselves with the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in like the rafida wa ghayrihim ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam